Jake Epstein here and going to talk a little bit more about bat drag. We've looked at a lot of examples of bat drag and one of the most common issues with the players, um, you know, especially in your plant. So we want to make sure we understand it as much as possible. Easiest thing to look for is knob and back elbow. We want to make sure that the knob stays in front of that back elbow as long as possible. Okay, notice how quiet his elbows are. So if we put an angle on this, different angles that we've seen so far would be um, 111 and 124. This one's a little bit smaller, you know, closer to 100 degrees or so. Typically over 90 is great. Under 90 we're having issues. So what I look for, one of the things I look for, is this knob is going to pretty much follow this front elbow down the line. Okay, you can see how he's sliding it down that green line. Now, obviously, the camera's moving a little bit, but that's one thing to look for. Also, notice in our setup in the online academy, all the initial drills I have you do, notice how I have the bat very, very close to this trap muscle here. Okay, that's just to make life easier as we're learning. Okay, so what we're focusing on by doing that is making sure our elbows are quiet, making sure we stay connected. This is going to get rid of any casting where the bat goes this way, the top hand opens up, and it'll create um, a better path, meaning we're going to get rid of bad drag. Bad drag is when this elbow gets in front of the knob of the bat. So obviously you've probably heard that in the annotations I've done for you. Um, so this is just a great slow motion key. The other things I talk about, remember this left tricep pulling forward. Okay, we want that left tricep to pull forward. That will help get rid of bat drag as well. But again, the main concern we have is we have to make sure as this elbow drops, which it's supposed to drop, this knob moves with it. We don't want to leave the knob there behind our body as our back elbow drops. That's what causes our bat drag issues. So if we can keep that knob going forward in front of the back elbow, keep our elbows separated a little bit, we're going to be just fine.